link the de la class en YouTube. Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. How are you today? Hello, Adrián. Hello, hello teacher. Mario. Hello, Lorena. Hello, Claudia. I hope that little by little people is joining us, okay? So for today, we are going to conclude the section number two, and we are going to start the section number three. Remember that for this week, we have planned to complete the section number uh, three until the midterm exam, okay? So um, uh, for by um, tomorrow is Wednesday, by Thursday, we expect that we have uh, at least part of the class uh, with enough time in order to, um, to be able to look um, around the test and to see the logic of the evaluation for that test uh, we are not necessarily solve the test in class, but the idea is that uh, we can check and, and ask if we have some questions about that. Okay, so let me show you for today what do we have planned to do regarding to the platform. So basically, uh, regarding to the platform, we have this uh, 2.10 lesson objective that says that by the end of this class, you uh, will read and discuss an article about how to improve your health, okay? And additionally, you will develop skills in scanning and reading for main idea. So that's very important for us to read and understand the new ideas, okay? So uh, in, a, in a platform, you have um, an article, which is very similar to the one that I brought for you uh, for tonight. And later we are going to conclude with uh, excuse me i don't know why it's, it's moving to 14 okay that's it it's the same it's the same exercise and later we move to the section number three okay in the section number three we are going to cover another topic which is called um places we are going to talk about places right so um in this case uh, we are going to ex, uh, co complete or at least uh, start uh, the 3.0 lesson objective that says by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for stores and other places and discuss where you can get the different, different things. Okay, so that's gonna be section number three. And you have also here a vocabulary um, video that you can watch. Solo trabaja la, la otra. And then we have the 3.2 knowledge check. For this knowledge check, you have to open this window. And when you open this window, you will uh, move to a pop-up uh, place where you can download this audio in order to complete this knowledge check. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing and I will go to the presentation that I have for you tonight. So let me share with you. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Lorena. We were waiting you. Hello. Please be very welcome. And welcome, Claudia, also. I say hello to Claudia. Hello, Roberto. Hello, Harold. Okay. Uh, excellent. Okay, perfect. Uh, we are going to focus tonight on um, the sea level stress. I mean, on the um, comments or um, in this case, affirmative and negative, um, it, those are like commands, but in a platform you have the name as imperatives, right? So, uh, for example, when I say, write your name on a test, I'm using an affirmative imperative. An affirmative imperative uh, help us to give orders, right? In a very short message. Uh, the other is uh, to give instructions. Take a deep breath. When you go to the doctor, the doctor says, please, breathe. You have to do like this. And the doctor says, keep, keep the breath. Keep the breath for one, uh, a couple of seconds. And you stay like this. Mm. <laughs> okay, so that's an order, right? That's a, a, an instruction from the doctor for you. Have some tea when we offer, okay? Uh, have some tea. It's an offering, but it's also an, um, an affirmative order. Um, make a request. When we have children, we say, be quiet, please. Okay? Uh, 
Uh, should, uh, I mean, don't, don't speak too loud, be quiet, okay? So that's a uh, request. So basically the definition is that we often need to use the commands or the imperatives when we want to quickly warn someone in everyday life, okay? For example, danger, move on, okay? Or to give orders, be quiet or to communicate in a very informal language. The imperative mode is much, is much easier than the other modes because in, in the other modes you have to like structure and in the imperative is a very quickly message that goes directly to the person that you need to address. So the imperative mode is much e easier than other modes in English because when you need to use imperatives, we don't have to add any verb. That's why they are very practical. In this way, the imperative mode has a very simple structure. In a sentence that are shot according to different people, the imperative mode may be different. In order to, um, orders are usually just set up with simple present tense, right? If you see, all the imperatives are in simple present tense, okay? So, Another example uh, for this are, for example, don't talk to me like that. When we have kids and they start like shouting at us, we say, hey, 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 stop. Don't talk to me like that. No me hable de esa manera, ¿verdad? Don't make that sound. Don't walk fastly. Slow down, right? So those are imperatives. So if you remember last night, we talked about uh, common, um, how to express health problem. We talk about medications and we also talk about common remedies. So tonight I have for you 10 simple ways to improve your health. For example, it says, believe it or not, you can greatly improve your health in these 10 simple ways. For example, eat breakfast. That's an imperative. You, your doctor maybe can tell you or can say, please eat breakfast. Okay, so that's an order for your health. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. So that's an explanation, but the imperative is eat breakfast. Number two, go for a walk. Okay, that's an order, that's an imperative. Go for a walk. Maybe your nutritionist or your doctor have told you, go for a walk every day. Okay, the explanation is that walking is a good exercise and exercise is necessary for good health. Number three, maybe the last time you went to your dentist, your dentist told you, floss your teeth after each meal, okay? So that's another imperative, floss your teeth. So the explanation, don't just brush them. Flossing keeps your gums healthy. Number four, maybe your doctor told you, Drink eight cups of water every day, okay? So that's an imperative. Why? Because water helps your body in many ways. Number five, maybe your doctor told you, stretch for five minutes like this, start moving because you, you, you stay sitting down the whole day. So move your body, okay? Stretch for five minutes. Stretching is important for your muscles. Wear a seat belt. When you are draw, uh, driving, uh, maybe you are aware to use your seatbelt, to wear your seatbelt because uh, maybe the police is there and they are going to give you a ticket, right? So you always ask to, your, uh, to the people that is uh, with you in the car, you always say, please wear a seatbelt, okay? So every year seatbelts save thousands of lives, so it's important. Number seven, do something to challenge your brain. When you're getting a little bit older, our doctor says, do something to challenge your brain. For example, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. Moisturize your skin and use sunscreen. That's another imperative. Maybe your dermatologist told you when you were the last time to his office, moisturize your skin and use sunscreen to avoid any skin cancer or any problem. Get enough calcium, right? That's another imperative. Your bones need it. Yogurt, milk have calcium. 
or drink orange juice with calcium added. And the last one, take a time out, a break about 20 minutes. Do something different. For example, get up and walk, take a deep breath, and then uh, give it, this gives oxygen to your uh, brain, right? And then you relax a little bit, sit down and listen to music. And this is going to help you to avoid stress. Okay, so those are 10 simple ways to improve your health. If you see, again, um, this is an imperative. Eat breakfast, go for a walk, floss your teeth, drink a cup of water every, every day, uh, stretch for five minutes, wear a seat belt, do something that challenges your brain, moisturize your skin and use sunscreen, get enough calcium, take a time out. 10 imperatives to improve your life. Okay, now, we can have also negative imperatives. For example, here, get up early, right? Maybe you say to your, to your kids, go to bed early. You have to get up early tomorrow, okay? So get up early is an imperative. Don't get up early, maybe during the weekend. Uh, maybe you say, um, to your husband or to your wife, don't get up early, just rest. Park your car here, that's another imperative. Or the opposite, don't park your car here. Post those letters, don't post those letters. Okay, if you see the imperative has a, like a short uh, main verb, but if you want to say it in a negative way, you have to use the um, auxiliary, in this case, don't, don't, because the imperative is for the subject you. You cannot see um, the subject here, but uh, implicitly it is there. You get up early. You don't get up early. You park your car here. You don't park your car here. You post those letters. You don't post those letters. Okay, so the imperative is for the implicit subject, you. Okay, more negative imperatives. Don't stop. Don't smoke here. Don't take my seat. Please don't wait here. Don't wash your hands here. Don't put any salt on my soup. Okay, those are negative imperatives. So I have here this for you. I would like you to please take a picture and I will do it. And I will ask you to please work with this imperatives. So the idea is that you can write the correct imperative for the image. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six images. So I expect that in each group, we can have the right um, imperatives for this, okay? So let me stop sharing and I would like to ask you, do you have questions so far about the imperative? Okay, so let me invite you to the breakout rooms. So we are going to have like four. Well, let's say three. Okay, please join. I invite you to join the breakout rooms and complete the six imperatives according to the drawings you see there.
Hello, Lorenita and Rafael. Do you have problems by joining the groups? Hello. Hello, Rafael. Hello, hello. I'm Hi, just teacher. I'm just checking because I move uh, some of you because the, I think that there are some problems with some people that is not uh, getting uh, the connection for the for the breakout rooms. So I hope that you can work together. Okay. Okay. okay thank you. Excellent. See you in a minute. Okay. Thanks. Um, Mario, the first um, between, uh -huh, zero and three. Hello, hello, is everything okay? Hey, teacher, um, and number, number um, one, yes. Is, uh, uh, don't allow, no permitir or children between zero and three? Yes, that's correct. Maybe you can say uh, no children allowed from zero uh, to three. Don't children allow? No children. No. No, no children allowed. Not, not Porque children. Porque vamos a utilizar el verbo allowed. Uh, okay. Per permitidos. From no. zero to three years. No children allowed. Mm -hmm. Se escribe sí. A, sí. A L O W E D allowed permitidos allowed no children allowed from zero to three from yes and and the and the and the number two don't don't smoke or not smoke. You can say don't smoke here or non-smoking here. Both are correct. Don't, don't smoke here. Mm -hmm. Don't smoke here. Yes. Okay. Okay, excellent. Thank you, teacher. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, uh, I I lost the, the yesterday class, video class, and um, how... How can you watch it? You can, I, how do you want? How, yes, how you can go. You can go to the to the um, YouTube playlist in the in the in the email that English Corporativo sent you with your credentials to in to enter to the platform. There's a link for the YouTube um, playlist. Okay, I will try to send it at the end of the class. I will resend it to you in order that you can go and, and click, and then you will open all the available videos, right? Normally, uh, I upload after the class. Uh, um, have, have you tried? <laughs> ha, tratado, ha tratado de ver la playlist, la, el acceso, uh, el link de la playlist que le dieron uh, en el correo de inscripción? No, es solo de la plataforma. Eh, bueno, anteriormente tenía en los, en, los, en los módulos que tenía, pues casi que siempre aparecía en la, la, la clase en la plataforma de, de, del tema que estamos viendo, pero ahora veo que hay muchos vídeos que no es el que busco, entonces como que cuesta un poquito más. Tendría que ir al link, al link de, 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 del, del que me enviaron. Sí, es que son dos tipos de videos. Eh, un video es el que está en la plataforma, que es el, el del contenido de la clase. Y el otro video mm. es el que grabamos cuando estamos acá en las prácticas. Entonces, si Correcto. es ese video el que usted quiere ver, el de las clases, porque se perdió la clase de ayer, puede ir a la playlist, ¿sí? Yo ahorita eh, voy a, ahorita que termine la clase, voy a darle un copiar y pegar al link de la playlist en el, y se lo, voy, se lo voy a reenviar al grupo de WhatsApp para que usted pueda eh, entrar por ahí. Pero Gracias. usualmente ese link le llega en el correo de inscripción. Para que tenga de referencia, ¿verdad? Que, que en ese correo también se los manda. 
¿ok? Ok. Pero yo se Perfecto, los comparto gracias. con mucho gusto. You're welcome, ¿ok? See you, see you in a okay. minute, ¿ok? You. You're welcome. Hello, hello, Morena. I know, don't worry. I know it's raining and I know it's hard sometimes to get the internet okay. So you don't worry. You can stay here and you can complete the exercise by yourself, okay? Okay, thank okay. you. I'm just thank moving you. around in between the two groups in order to see that everything is, is okay. Next time, if you want, maybe now it's a little bit later. I don't know. Yeah, we are about to finish. It's like one more minute mm -hmm. because we need to cover the other topic. So okay. you, you can stay here. Don't worry, Lorenita. Okay. In the okay. next Thank exercise, you. to join us, okay? Thank you. I'm making some signals. <laughs> you don't see me because <laughs> yeah. I have my, my video I off. I know. Thank you. you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Thank you. I'm just going to see the, the other group. Hello, hello. I'm a teacher. Don't use the cell phone. Yes, no <laughs> cell phones allowed it. <laughs> okay, so are you about to finish? Uh, teacher, uh, the first picture. Uh, you can say, uh, no children allowed it. Uh, for example, when you go to some restaurants that they have uh, like a playground for kids, uh, uh -huh. They prevent you to don't send your kids from zero to three to those uh, playgrounds because it, it may be dangerous for them. Mainly if parents are not watching what is happening with the kids. So they, they put like sign signals like this. Normally is not children allowed it from zero to three. Allowed it is a verb that means permitidos. Es como, no se permiten niños, ¿verdad? En las edades de ser... Allowed it. Allowed it is... Uh, I will spell it right now, ¿ok? Allowed it, it's... Okay. A... L... L... O... W... E... D. Allowed yeah. it. You get it? Allow it, okay. allow it se escribe, digámoslo así, con doble L y, do, y doble B, allow it, pero se dice allowed. Oh. Allowed. Mm -hmm. No children allowed from zero to three, if you want to add that. It is from. From, from zero the, to three. Mm -hmm. From zero Pero to con three. que le pongan no children allowed, ya se entiende, ¿verdad? No se permiten niños. Y puntualmente de esas edades. Ok. Uh, okay. In the picture, uh, the motorcycle. No, no, par no motorcycles parking. No, ah, okay. Or, or don't park motorcycles here. <laughs> uh, you have like we, the two choices. We use the sentence, uh, no, no drive the motorcycle. Yes, it could be no, no. It can be no motorcycles on the way, uh -huh. because there okay. are some special roads that are not allowed for motorcycles. It can be also not motorcycles on the road. Ah, okay, thanks. Okay, thanks, you're welcome. See you in a minute. Okay, I'll call you back. Okay. Okay. Okay, you're welcome. Hello, hello. People is coming back in a minute, my dear uh, Lorena and my dear Aura. So I would like to know if you have questions about the images that I can help. If you have questions, I can help you. No, Miss. It's okay. Okay. Um, no. Okay, perfect. So they are coming back and then I will ask some of you to please tell me how do you um, elaborate the correct imperative for each image, okay? Just okay. wait for me, like, let's see how long it will take. We are nine by now. So only four people. We are waiting for people to come back, okay? And then when we finish, we are going to pass to the next part of the class to give the introduction at least. 
Okay, let's continue because of, of the time uh, we are going to start. Okay, who would like to start with the first signal? What do you think is the, like the possible? Because there are different possible ways to say the imperative, but I would like to hear at least one. One from the first and then one for each uh, drawing, for each signal. In sign. Okay, who would like to say? Okay, who wants to? ¿A quién le gustaría comentar cómo entry. le quedó? Don't entry child. <laughs> okay, no children entry. No children. Or maybe no children allowed it, right? I was discussing with another group. Um, that there are some playgrounds in some restaurants that they put this thing now in order to avoid any accident from the little ones because sometimes parents are not taking care and maybe they are big spaces and they can be dangerous. So in those places they say no children allowed it or no children entry, right? Excellent, thank you. Number two, who would like to continue with the number two? I teacher. Um, yes. Number two, two, don't smoke here. Okay, do not smoke here. Excellent, thank you. Number three. Not food alone. Don't, don't what? Excuse me, I couldn't, I couldn't hear. Perdón, que la lluvia no, no... Go ahead, Aura. Okay, Aura, please. Hi. No, I... I uh, two, two minutes ago, entry to the class. Okay. Sorry. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's okay. okay I so, said... Uh -huh. I said... Uh, don't food alone. Oh, food is not allowed. Yeah, maybe uh, not food allowed it, or you allowed. say don't eat. Don't eat. Uh, don't, or, eat. Okay. don't eat here or don't eat or no food allowed that's okay uh okay who would like to participate with the number four don't walk uh, yeah or maybe don't pass ah uh, don't pass okay maybe because it's that it's a restricted area right okay okay excellent um number uh, let's see five don't ride bicycle here. Yes, not bicycle. Uh, don't park bicycle here. Or um, we also discussed that it can be like not uh, more not bicycles or not motorcycles on the way. Maybe it's a, a way that is uh, dangerous. Yeah, it can be. Okay, and the last one. Let's see. Don't use cell phones. No cell phones, right? No cell phones. For example, in the bank, That's okay. uh, recently they accept that you only text, but in the past they said no cell allowed it or uh, don't use cell phones or no cell phones, right? Okay, if you see all of them are imperatives, right? And they are in uh, signals, right? Here. Okay, uh, we are going to continue. Uh, if you don't have questions about this topic, I think that we are going to stop here and I will move to the next part of the class with my, just let me open. Yeah, here. Okay, um, we are going to introduce this part, uh, which is uh, places in, in shops, that's the name in the, in the platform. And basically we are going to study some prepositions. That's why I would like to remind you that a preposition is a word that shows the relation between a pronoun or some other words or elements in the rest of, of the sentence, right? <coughs> uh, and some examples of prepositions are with, at, 
from, into, during, including, until, about, like, over, before, between, including, after, except, but, up, out, around, down, off. Okay, so those are uh, in general, right? But we have some prepositions of place that I would like to show you. For example, the bird is over the box. So if you see there's a, a certain distance, right? So the bird is over the box. The bird is among the cats, right? The bird is near the cat. The bird is down the tree. Okay, it's like falling from the tree. The bird is far from the cat. The bird is go or past. The bird is past the tree, like passing, right? Okay, here I have more. See? Um, the cat is on the box. In this case, the cat is touching the surface of the box. So it's on the box. The cat is in the box. The cat is next to or beside the box. The cat is in front of the box. The cat is behind. Excuse me that there is a mistake here. Vamos a corregir que hay un detallito ahí. Okay, behind. The cat is between the boxes, right? The cat is under the box in this case. The cat is through the box. The cats are around the boxes in this case, okay? So I have here more prepositions uh, and it's important that we are going to, because we are going to use them uh, for the other part of the class where we are going to talk about places, and give uh, some addresses. At, we, we use at for places for very specific locations, for example, at reception, at the side, at the bottom, at the top, at college, at university, at school, at work, at home, at the door, at a concert, at concert, at the dinner, in for very defined spaces which, which have some edges uh, on it. For example, in a car, in a taxi, in Park Street, in a row, in the sky, in the newspaper, in a lift, in a boat, in a helicopter, in the bathroom, in Paris, in the world, under, under a tree, under the table, under your bed, under the chair, under a bridge, under the water, under the sea, under the skin, on, under the ground, under the fl uh, flower pot, on, on a bus, like we say in, on a surface, right? On the way, on the left, on the right, on a ship, on a plane, on the train, on a bicycle, on a motorbike, on a horse, on an elephant, on television. And here we have more, we have below and over, okay? Later I will explain the difference of some of this. Below the surface, below the sailing, below the table, below zero degrees, over the floor, over my head, over 18 years old, above, above the dog, above the car, above the clouds, above the wash machine. I know that these are like a little bit confusing, so that's why I'm going to explain them later. Uh, we have three special uh, prepositions that we can use them for time and for place. For example, we use in for time when we talk about in general times and for bigger places. <clears throat> for example, for time, for centuries, in the 19th, in the, um, in the, in the 19th, right? Uh, for decades, the 90s, right? For years, 1990, 2000. For months, May, October. For weeks, 
in five weeks, for seasons in spring, for periods of time in a future, for holidays the Easter, in the Easter holiday, for the parts of the day, in the morning, in the evening, right? And for places, excuse me. Uh, we say uh, um, in El Salvador, in San Salvador, in Alta Vista, in a car. We use on for more specific uh, locations and uh, for more specific dates and for smaller places. For example, on Easter day, on Monday, on April the 17th, on my birthday, on the weekend, on Sunday morning. And for places, on the Golden Street, on the Roosevelt Avenue, uh, on the floor, on, on a bus, on the radio. Please, and I have a question. Yes, please, go ahead. Do you use at when you are near of the place or when you are in the place? When you are near the place, but in a very specific location. Okay, and you use on when you are in. When you are on a surface, right? Always that. For example, I, I'm on my house mm. because I'm in my house. You are in your inside. House. You are inside your house, right? But so now I, maybe uh -huh. you are on your sofa. Mm. You are in your house, on your sofa. When you talk about places. I hear sometimes uh, person use at and sometimes person use on. Yeah, but remember that on is only when you are touching a surface. For example, I can say, my office is on the second floor of the building number one. Right? Okay. Yeah, but my yes. office is in the, account, in the teacher's department. I work in the teacher's department on the second floor of the building number one. You see it? Yes, I got it. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Excellent. Okay, so um, at is uh, uh, certainly for specific places. For example, the, st the classes start at 8 uh, o'clock p.m. Uh, my watch is, the alarm of my watch is going to uh, start at midnight. At the moment, th there's no problem with the rain. Um, at Easter, we are going to celebrate with our kids, okay? At 456 Colonia La Mascota, at the station, at the bus station, okay? So now, let's move on to shop in places in town. For example, some of the very common places we have in town are a fishmonger's, a department store, a train station, a dentist, a bookstore, a florist, a gas station, a hospital, the cinema, the supermarket, the park, a bakery, a swimming pool, the airport, a restaurant, the bank. We also may have in some cities that you can find a beach nearby, the beach, the jewelry, the gym, the zoo, a coffee shop, a green grocers, a hairdressers, the, the theater, the post office, the police station, the church, the fire station, the pharmacy or the drugstore, they are synonyms, the playground, a club, the lab, okay? So now, using the prepositions, I would like to ask you where you can buy clothes, right? You can say at a department store, in the ladies' department, right? Uh, which can you recommend and why? For example, if I ask you, where is it located, right? And what time is it open? So now I would like uh, to give you the chance in a minute we have uh, to continue talking about where you can buy, I don't know, maybe flowers, 
maybe books, maybe clothes, or maybe you can say um, vegetables. Where can I buy, for example, medicines? Uh, where can I buy, um, I don't know, groceries, bread, or food? I don't know. So I'm going to send you the names of the places for you to decide which place are you gonna talk about, okay? So if you can take a picture, it's going to be great. And then I'm going to send you the short model for the conversation. And also I'm going to share with you the pyramid, the inverted pyramid, in order that you can have this guide for using the prepositions. Okay, so let me send it to you and then I'm going to ask you to join again the breakout rooms and start working. Okay, so let me stop sharing and I'm going to invite you one more time and I open the rooms. Okay, please join my dears. So the idea is that you can discuss where you can buy this and this and that, and then you recommend the place to go. At the bakery, at the pequeña bakery. Teacher, how do you say pastelería in English? It's bakery. It's the same. Bakery. Yeah, bakery is understood for different bread, including a cake. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's, Thank that's you. correct. You're welcome. Do you have extra questions? Um, no. Okay. Now I'm trying to practice. Excellent, excellent. You have like two more minutes in order to conclude okay. the conversation. Thank you. And the idea is that all of you can uh, be consulted and can say their favor favorite places to buy something, right? Okay. Okay. Claudia. Hi, Lorena. Hello. How is it going? Where you Hi, teacher. To communicate each other? Can you listen to each other? 
Can you listen to each other? Um, I have a question. Yes, please go ahead. And the second um, question in the picture mm -hmm. uh, say, which can you remain or remain and Re why? Recommend. Ah, okay. Uh, for example, if I say, where can you buy um, candy bread or a cake? Maybe you can say at El Rosario, at El Rosario Bakery, right? And, uh, recommend. Uh -huh, recommend. Uh, excuse me, there's a mistake there. You're right. Recommend. Recommend, that's right. Sorry, I apologize for that. It's recommend. Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you for noticing it. I'm going to resend this. Okay. Thank um, you. I couldn't realize when I was editing the, the, the document. Sorry. Okay. But the idea is that you can recommend a place to buy the specific issue that you would like to buy. Okay. In this case, for example, uh, I, what is the pronunciation? Mm -hmm. Recommend. 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 Which can you recommend and why? Uh -huh. and this is, uh, uh, I recommend uh, Florida's. Mm, Florida's is the shop. Or, or you can you can choose the place. You can talk about a department store. You can talk about a bookstore or you can talk about any other place. That's why I sent you the images. Maybe you can choose a, a restaurant, right? Instead of a florist. And if I say, um, for example, uh, I would like to eat, for example, Chinese food, right? Uh, which restaurant do you recommend? Or which uh, restaurant can you recommend and why, right? Okay. Yeah, uh, but the, the okay. initial question is where you can buy Chinese food. Maybe you say a diamante chino, at panda, I don't know, but you use the preposition mm -hmm. at, right? And then the conversation continues. Which uh, can you recommend and why? And then where is it located, right? The place. And what time is it open? Okay. Uh, is it okay? Did I answer your questions properly? Yes, yes I, I. Okay, excellent, excellent. Thank you. See you, see you in a couple of minutes, okay? Okay, thank you, teacher. Perfect. Uh,
Hello, hello, welcome back. People is coming back from the practice. So we are going to wait just a couple of minutes to continue with the presentation of the work you did. Okay, so let me see who's back. Okay, the other group is coming in a couple of minutes, in a couple of seconds. Okay, welcome. Okay, I hope that all of you um, can uh, have been able to share some of the information about the places you like in the city and which uh, can you recommend and why. Okay, so I would like to start uh, with one of the groups. So who wants to share? Let's see, who wants to start? Us. Okay, please, Lorena, go ahead. If Claudia and Adriana are agree. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you agree, Claudia and Adriana? Okay. Okay, let's start. Okay, Adrian, where you can buy uh, a birthday cake? I'm going to buy at the Tecleña Bakery. Okay. So, Claudia, which can you recommend and why? Um, because it's a Tecleña Bake, a Tecleña Bakery. Mm -hmm. Bakery is a is a cake of quality, mm -hmm. of, and 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 is delicious. Mm. Excellent. So, Adrian, where is where is it located? It's it is a Unicentro Mall. Okay. okay. So, uh, Claudia, do you know what time is it open? Um, it's it's open at at eight a.m. at at five p.m. Okay. Thank you guys for, for the information. Excellent. Thank you. You can also say it's open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and it's okay. Excellent. Very good. Uh, let's see Roberto's team. Roberto? Hi. Hi. Uh, Hello. Mario, uh, which can you recommend and why? Uh, Okay, which place did you took to practice? Um, Sorry? Let's see, uh, which place uh, did you choose? De que lugar van a hablar? De que, de que tienda o algo así? Um, the cinema. Ah, okay, perfect. Okay, maybe the question then is where you can go to watch uh, a movie, right? And then the answer at the cinema, and then you continue. Which can you recommend? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, Mario, which can you recommend and why? I recommend uh, cinema. Mm -hmm. And why? Because it's modern and comfortable. Okay. Okay. Uh, where is it located? You see in Galerias. Okay. Okay, what time is it open? At 10 a.m. Okay, excellent, very good. So we have talked about a, a bakery and the cinema. Very good, my dears. Okay. Uh, to talk about more prepositions, I have here extra ones for you. For example, on, right? The, the preposition is regarding to the green object. On, in, away from, into, down, through, in front of, behind, along, past, across, up, out of, to or towards, onto, off. Not far from, far from, at, by, beside, and next to. Uh, look, this, uh, this position can be named 
with all these prepositions, at, by, beside, next to, and all of them are correct according to this object, right? Near, across from, opposite, between, turn right, around the corner, under, over, among, in the middle of, turn left, on the right, above, below, straight ahead, on the left, around, against. Okay, what, what about above and over? Because they are a little bit confusing. Both can be used to mean higher than. For example, the, oh, excuse me, the water came up above or over our knees, okay? Um, can you see the helicopter above or over the plane? Above is used when we think about measurements on a vertical up and down scale. For example, heights of land are given above sea level. The summit of Everest is over 8,000, a, yeah, 8,000 meters above sea level. Over, we usually use over when the meaning is covering or crossing. For example, the plane was flying over Denmark with numbers, expressions of quantity or measurements. For example, you have to be over 18 to see his phone, okay? It means over 18 years old to be allowed to see the phone. Okay, uh, the other confusing preposition is under and below. For example, the ball is under the box. So it means that there is a contact between the box surface and the ball. But when you say below, it's not necessarily a contact with the surface. So the ball is below the box. For example, the ball is below the table, right? If they are not in contact of surfaces. So here, I would like to ask you if you can take a picture. And then if you can try to please complete this exercise in order to continue discussing tomorrow, because now I think the time is almost over and it takes a little bit time in order to find the specific place of the items. So I'm going to send it to you, but if you can get a better picture for you, it's going to be okay. So this is gonna be like a homework for tomorrow that you can complete this. Okay, for tomorrow, we are going to continue talking about prepositions, but we are going to locate specific places of the city on a map. Uh, by now, uh, I'm going to stop sharing and I would like to ask you if do you have questions about prepositions? Yes, miss, I'm not clear with above and over. Yeah, above, they are. You say above is used with measurements mm -hmm. and up and yes. over. Up to and down. They are basically similar, right? Uh, we can start by saying, let me share again. Uh, we can start by, by saying that they are basically synonyms. They are similar. The only one little difference from one another is the above is used for measurements, but on scale, when the scale is up or down. For example, when you talk about sea level heights, right? Or when you talk about matters of a mountain, right? Because in this case, we are talking about that the, in this case, the Everest Mount is in this case over 8,000 meters above the sea level, above the sea level, right? Another example, do you have another example? Um, the other one is no, in this case, no, because we are talking about the scale of up and down. That's why this, this is the only example, yeah? Or we can say, uh, the house is 
four meters above the ground level. If you see, if it's scale up and down, yeah? So, yeah. You, so you uh -huh. ever use a level? Yes, it's re ever related. Use a level? Related to a level with a surface that you take as basis to measure. Yeah? In this okay. case, can be the sea level or the ground. Yeah? Okay. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. Thank and you. over and over is uh, when you cross, for example, you cannot see if you are not over 18 years old. If you have not crossed that barrier of the age, you cannot see the movie, for example. You, you can use over with everything else except with uh, scale? It's not necessarily, okay. no. We, for scale, it's, it's more uh, used above than over. Yeah. Okay. Okay, excellent. I'm going to stop sharing, and I would like to ask you if for tomorrow uh, you could work on that exercise that I sent you, and then we are going to start with that, and then we will continue locating places in a city on a map. Okay, and then okay. we are going to conclude and then we continue advancing with the platform. I appreciate your, your time. Thank you very much for coming, even though the rain. So I hope you can be safe and I hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you. You're welcome. Good night, everybody. Good night.